What's going on guys? All right, so we're gonna do a chrome trim delete on this Mercedes. I think it's a CLA 250. That's what it is, CLA 250. And I'm gonna talk about a few things here and how you might wanna go about pricing your chrome trim delete if you are doing this for, let's say a customer or you're doing this for a living. Now, for the most part, you wanna look at how much trim there is. If it's just the top piece, if it's just the bottom pieces or whatever, things you might have to take off also. So I remove the mirror. It's not absolutely necessary to remove the mirror. I do it just to be extra thorough, make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, that way, you know, it takes 10 minutes to take the mirror off. I'd rather take it off. Now we don't have to actually take the trim off the car to do this. It's actually easier if the trim is on the car. Now, another thing that you wanna look at is how tight are these rubber seals? Because most of them have rubber seals, All right? So these ones on this Mercedes are actually pretty loose. So I end up pricing it a little bit lower because I probably won't have to rewrap these trim pieces if I mess up on the cut. Now, when we're cutting, we're being very, 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 very precise, all right? Knifeless tape doesn't really work in a situation like this where we can put it on the rubber. So, because it's really awkward and the knifeless tape doesn't stick. So this is more of a freehand job, all right? Top section, okay, it's pretty easy. Bottom section here is super easy, but it's more so getting that trim just right so that we don't, we don't have any excess film, or sorry, any chrome showing. So again, check the seals out. Like I said, these ones move pretty generously. So I can actually pull them back a little bit, which is enough. I don't need more than that. And just to get it around the edge. Uh, when it comes to doing this, it's very minimal as far as materials needed and you're probably gonna wanna use black because that's usually what most people do. I don't know if any other color would look good, but I mean, if you were trying to match the car, cool. Maybe wrapping the whole car, maybe you want the trim to match. You could do it in the color to match the car. Now I've done this, I've cut strips. The longest piece is this piece right here. So we end up cutting quite a bit into the roll. I'd say about two yards, two and a half yards or so. This is about six feet, six, seven feet long. And we don't actually have to cut a strip like this to cover this. What we do is we end up stretching the film and contouring it with the piece of chrome trim. So I'm gonna do that for you right now. We're gonna do the top piece first. What I've also done here is I've masked off surrounding area just to make sure that the vinyl slides off of the surrounding areas a little bit easier. I didn't do the window side because we have the rubber trim there. Can't really mask off the rubber trim. It's not really gonna hold very well. So it is fine though. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it, all right? So. Start at one end. And all I've done to prep this is wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. I've gone in with my squeegee and been extra thorough as far as cleaning under all these edges go and under the seals. I wanna be very thorough. So let's do it. All right, this is pretty easy, guys. On this car, at least. There's other cars where it's super difficult and I quote way higher. So again, it's gonna be more so like the time that you're spending doing this. I charge when it comes to this, some material cost, and then by the hour. If you wanna charge 30 bucks an hour or whatever, you wanna charge $200 an hour, totally up to you. So, I want, I'm not gonna tell you what I charge. That will be up to you and your skill level. All right, so you can see as I'm just coming along here, I'm just stretching the film a little bit. I don't really have to stretch it that much across the top there, but now as I come down again, I'm just bending it slightly and I'm rolling off the backing paper more or less at the same time as I move along. So this is super easy. Look how easy this is to actually manipulate the film and guide it. And we're about there. Done. So we have no stretch on the ends, which is great. The tension is running across mostly. There isn't even very much tension. Now all I wanna do is get it around the top and then we're gonna trim off the top. I'm gonna do that part first. Making sure I'm getting it tucked in right here because it was a little bit tighter right over here. Perfect. And I'm gonna trim off all that excess on the top side. So yes, when it comes to a job like this, what we're gonna do is charge more or less by the hour. And I mean, if it looks really complex and you think it's gonna give you a headache, charge a little extra. 
But again, this is not that complicated, so the price ended up being a little bit lower than some other cars. So for example, the Lexus that I did, I used, did use knifeless tape on the Lexus, um, was a bit higher because it's such a pain to wrap that, that chrome trim. So I'm gonna do a relief cut right across the bottom here. Okay, and then we're gonna start, because I'm right-handed, start down here. Just gotta make sure the corner's tucked in really nicely. There we go. So I never go from out to in when I cut. I start a little bit in and then I come out first. And then I can go from the inside the rest of the way down. We're gonna be very gentle here. We don't wanna force anything. Magnets are in the way. So we don't want to force anything. All we're doing is letting the blade do the work. All right. You don't want to cut the trim and then all of a sudden the customer's car starts leaking water because that that's what will happen for the most part. It's a rubber trim there. And the rubber trim is meant to keep water and air out. Perfect. So let's get this piece out of the way. It's probably not one solid piece all the way through because I have tucked quite a bit in there. It's fine. There we go. Go over it with the squeegee as soon as I'm done this. So here's where it gets a little more tricky. We're going to get to the bottom side. Probably could have done the bottom side first since that's more likely to be the area where I'm going to make a mistake. Now, if you're doing this, what you want to do is you always want to go for the hard areas first when you're, when you're cutting and trimming. Because if you make a mistake, you're just going to have to redo it. So why do all the easy stuff first and then get to the hard stuff and then f make a mistake? So just my, my thoughts on that. that out of the way so let's do the bottom piece here what I got to do is really make sure that we are on that rubber seal all right as far as the vinyl goes I'm going to use my favorite tool to get a little bit further in there it's one of my favorite tools talk about it in a second So I'm alleviating the tension from the bottom here, making sure that the vinyl isn't sticking to anything. This way I can tuck it right in up to the seal, okay? All I gotta do is find the edge of the seal. Get all that on camera, yeah. The bottom pieces are going to be a little bit easier, I think. Well, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Just don't want to speak too soon, you know? All right. So, my favorite tool, the wrap stick flex. All right, you can get this from Yellow Tools. It's an awesome little tool. It's great for stuff like this. So I'm going to go over now this whole area with my wrap stick flex and try and get that film tucked in there a little bit more. This is a Teflon, this is the Teflon one. This is, this is actually a great one. I probably don't see a purpose for getting any of the other ones. The, the green one, this, whatever color you want to call it, is great. But again, they all serve a purpose. I just haven't tried them. This one works well for me. Teflon means it slides really nicely, all right? so. We're able to just glide it across. So snap one blade off, get your blade box. It's good to have, perfect. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So it is challenging to see. So this might take me a few seconds, but again, I'd rather take my time than redo it. 
I'm going to leave a bit excess. That way I can tuck it in because I know the seal has a bit of give. Perfect. Super gentle. I use my finger on the window trim itself as a guide, all right? It's balancing my cut right now. It's keeping me stable. Without that, you're floating your blade and you're gonna make a mistake. More likely to make a mistake. See how we did. Good. Full coverage, I gotta tuck a little bit in. Because I came out a little further on some spots, no big deal, it moves. So, all we're going to do is go over it. So, what I need to do is kind of lift it a little bit. And the seal actually doesn't have as much give as I thought, so I just have to trim it off. Right here, I missed a bit. Came a little wide. Just looking for that sweet spot, all right? And that's truly what it comes down to is finding that sweet spot for the blade to just coast. Perfect. I think I saw a little bit over here. Did, here we go. A little bit there. And a little bit there. All right, so let's get rid of all this. Having the sharp blade will give you extreme precision, all right? Love it. All right, that piece is done. So, let's do the two bottom pieces. How long has it been now? 13 minutes, not too bad. I figured it would take about an hour to do the whole thing. So, a quarter one hour. All right, now let's get our bottom pieces. Just line it up right here. Okay, I'm gonna have plenty, that's for sure. the back one. What I'm going to do is open the door and open this door a little bit too. Let's get you in a better spot. How's that? It's better. So I've opened the door just so I can access these ends. What I'm going to do is to start on the inside here and just give it a nice little pull across. Beautiful. So we've got the ends wrapped. We're gonna find a center point right about there. So the hard part for this one is gonna be the top seal. The bottom is super easy. So let's do the hard part first this time, and then we'll cut out the bottom afterwards. I should just be using my squeegee. 
will help. So I'm just looking for that rubber seal on the top. I don't want to overlap the rubber seal on top. What I want to do is put the vinyl right up against it. Good. I'm going to use the more firm squeegee because it helps. This one's actually not bad. These, these kind of push down a little bit, so we can actually roll that vinyl around the backside slightly, which is nice. Oh, I lost, lost my vinyl there. There we go. Once I finish this part, I'm using a more firm squeegee. After this, I'll use the wrap stick flex again. really hard to see the line. Black is really sometimes difficult to see things. So I'm just trying to find that trim, that rubber trim that separates the chrome from the window. Okay, I might as well squeegee out the rest and finish up the bottom. So you can see let me use this. How it comes off the, the tape really easily. Okay, I just had to find a spot to grab, but that's why it's important to have the masking tape. Once so I get this down, we're going to start cutting. I just lift it off the tape a little bit. I can get a nice tight tuck right underneath. All right, let's finish up the back side here. Make sure that's all tight before I do any cutting. I'm going to heat it. Saw my heat gun, there it is. Since I stretched it, I want to make sure that we're tight and ready to rock. That's great. I'm not pushing too hard, I'm just trying to get a little extra tuck there. Same with here. Just trying to get a little extra tuck. All right. Let's do the top. So let's start in the best place near the end. I'm gonna cut that off. I guess this is where a point of view camera would be great. So again, I'm trying to stay out of your way. Gliding the blade, all right? Just ever so gently in the recess between the rubber and the chrome trim. All right, so let me zoom, zoom you in here. Oh, let's see where I stopped there. I'm gonna get you down here a bit, okay? Hopefully you guys can see. Where did I stop? Right there. Yeah. Super gentle, guys. I'm not pushing hard. Got decent pressure, but nothing that's going to kill anything. Cut around the back side. Okay, that top piece is done. That's the hardest piece. Let's do, I can start anywhere really here, it doesn't really matter. I'm going underneath. See how I have my blade pointing up? This means I'm around the bottom side, okay? 
And in this case, we're also not cutting into the paint. Super important. I'd rather be cutting into the back of the trim than the actual paint, right? So we'll just keep that in mind. That's why we angle the blade away from the paint. So here we go. You can probably see a little bit better. And then let's come around. See how close I am? Just, just looking. Making sure that we've got coverage. If you can't do the end pieces in a, like one piece, the whole piece, don't even worry about it. You can slap a piece on the very end. So if you can see that. But you can slap a piece on the very end here if you can't get it all done in one shot. No big deal. Now let's close this so I can access this corner. Just got the other piece to go and we're done this side. This car is also getting a roof wrap, so I'm not doing a video on it because there's probably a million roof wrap videos on YouTube right now. There aren't a lot of these though. All right, let's seal the deal. Oh yes, and if you're curious what film I'm using for this, I'm using Avery. I'm not sure if you noticed on the backing paper, but I'm using Avery. I find that Avery is the best for doing chrome deletes. It's just a very thin film and it works it works great for this kind of stuff. Cool, let's do the front piece and then we're finished the side. So I'll put you back over here again. Just make sure I don't collect any dust in the meantime. Seems good. What did I do with that strip? I guess this is it. Seems really long. It's okay. It's better to have a piece that's too long than too short. Cool, so now I don't have the mirror in the way, which is nice, so I don't have to like worry about trying to work the film into this section over here. Plus, and this, this trim just cuts right off at the end. It tucks under the mirror a little bit, but there is no basically backside edge to wrap, not like there is on the inside of the door here. I actually should have started the other way, which is it's fine. So I'm gonna basically iron that out. And as I get here, I'm gonna do a little stretch. Get that around and then give it a heat and make sure it's shrinking itself around. Solid, we're good. out front to back back to front so I kind of glide my squeegee and push down at the same time like it's more like a chopping motion this prevents me from like cutting the film with the squeegee if I glide it too firmly and too quickly I might cut the film so got to be careful with that keep that in mind I'm just gonna get rid of the bottom piece right now since I just feel like it. in the back here so I can close the door. Let's give that a little tuck. 
perfect. Let's just seal the deal while we're here. It's usually what I do. Let's do the top. So again, I'm not straining the film or over stretching the film here. We want to push the film up to the seal so that it's very relaxed and just get it tucked around a little bit, okay? Most seals will have a little bit of give, but there are exceptions. There are some out there that are very, very stiff and very tight, and uh, it really comes down to getting the vinyl as close as possible, which is what the wrap stick flex is good for, so getting the film as close as possible to that edge. This way, we know that we're really tied up to it, and we can't make any mistakes unless we make a mistake with the blade. But having full coverage to start off with is the important part. All right, so let's go over with the wrap stick flex. Perfect. Let's keep that out of the way. And let's do the cutteroo right here. So from in to out, and then we go the rest of the way. Keep my hand. My hand is mounted to the window right now. It's not touching. I'm not touching the trim. I'm actually. Keeping it against the window, it keeps me stable, right? See how I'm behind my cut? I'm more or less always kind of pulling towards me. It's not often that I'm cutting away from me. This is generally how you make really nice clean cuts. If you're trying to cut out like this, you're gonna make a mistake. When you put yourself behind the cut, it makes it that much more stable and that much safer in the end. Not only safer for you, but safer for the car's paint. And that's it guys, as far as the chrome trim goes. So I'll show you, do you a little, give you a little tour of what this looks like up close. Let's check it out. All right, so like I said, this one chops off at the very end there. Again, we have full coverage. There isn't a sliver of chrome showing anywhere. There is actually a little bit of excess film right here. You can actually tuck that in a little bit. There we go. Okay, there isn't any chrome showing anywhere at all, even on the back side. So we can check out the back side there. And then we can check out this side here. Okay. Clean, right? Let's check out underneath even. All right, there we go. So all underneath, everything is tight. Okay, and then back side here also. Okay. That's it, guys. Let's get this situated here. I'm actually on vacation right now, so <laughs> some vacation, huh? Can't get myself away from work. All right, guys, if you like the video on how to do a chrome trim delete, give it a thumbs up. Again, it's more so basic ways to do it, how to go about doing it, and then your precision and accuracy in the end will definitely prevail if you're very if you're good at it you take your time just be patient it's not a rush job this is a very detailed job and it's good to also practice your skills and your and your knife got cut out there so it's great to work on your knife cutting skills to do stuff like this it's very detailed work but uh, again maybe you might want to practice on your own car first unless you already have your knife skills down then we can start selling these jobs they're again very straightforward very minimal film use Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be on vacation after this. Take care.